by Rise and Duffy's This Weekend with a Bank. The show, which is hotly billed to be one of this year's must-sees, is in town for three days only. The show mixes pyrotechnics, aerial stunts and ice skating to portray the evolution of the world over the millennia if it were formed by ice and fire. We called with the producers to find out what makes this show so unique. Julian, what sets this uh, production apart from others? Um, it's the first time that a circus has been combined with an ice show, ultimately. So in the past, there's been a lot of different tours of Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella's, Peter Pan's, even down to Phantom of the Opera and Carmen before. And we just thought we'd do something a little bit different. Um, the, the genre of circus, or circus is quite popular at the minute, as is ice, so we've decided to, to merge the two into this kind of new spectacular. So what's the story behind the five? The story is based um, on the evolution of the planet, or the birth of the planet, evolution of mankind, and man's effects on, on our planet Earth. Um, ultimately, there's a slight environmental me- message there. Do you think it will be top of people's Christmas list this year? I hope so. It certainly is um, a very entertaining show. You, you get two hours of absolute action packed. We have some of the best skaters in the world. We have three times British champion John um, with us. We have... Andre Trevilliai, the world's tallest ice skater, he's over six foot eight in his bare feet. So um, he's doing the highest lift in the world with his skating partner, Svetlana. Skating among the Russian stars is John Hamer, three times British skating champion, who joined the production just over a year ago. John, how did you get involved with the Russian ice stars? Uh, I got involved with the ice stars um, last Christmas. I did a Christmas production of Peter Pan, um, which lasted, I think, about four or five weeks. Um, afterwards, I... Uh, begged the manager for a job. Um, he told me about Cirque de Glass, and uh, I was all for it. So, uh, like I say, I just asked for a job, and uh, apparently I wasn't too bad. So uh, they brought me on board. Are you finding it tough keeping up with a strenuous schedule? Um, I think the hardest thing to do is to keep up with the, the Russian skaters themselves because they're so good. Um, I have to be better than. I would normally try to be to, to, like I say, to try and keep up with them. Um, the schedule is quite is quite difficult. Like I say, this week um, it's a little bit easier for us because we have uh, a couple of days break prior to the show. Um, but as a general, the, the show itself, the actual skating, is very very difficult. Um, the choreography is something new for me. I think it's new for everybody else as well. It's a new style of show, um, and hopefully, you know, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a big thing. Cirque de Glay will be performing until this Sunday only at DG1 and Dolphys, so if you want tickets you'd better get your skates on. <laughs>